a Tesla engineer has talked or responded to people saying, well, you know what? Solid state batteries are the future. And I think Tesla's top engineer, I think his advice is actually very, very on point. He said this, there is lots of gains for current EV battery technology before solid state batteries actually arrive. And the question is, if there's a lot of gains, if we can keep, keep continuing to increase battery energy density, improve charging speed, and decrease the cost of those battery packs. I mean, the cost of battery packs has come down, but from 2013 to 2025, it's come down from more than 800 US dollars to 110. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Electric cars, well, a lot of people think they're too expensive, can't charge fast enough, don't have enough range. But here's the thing. EV batteries are getting better every single year. We're seeing the range of EVs go up constantly. To give you some context on that, the model Tesla Model Y, right? This year, the all-wheel drive version of that car, it had about 550 kilometers of range. Before the new model came out, it was about 530. Then the new model comes out, it's 550. Then Tesla do an update, it's now got 600. Uh, that's the all-wheel drive version, right? The real-wheel drive version already had 600 with a smaller battery pack a long time ago. But basically what we're seeing is electric cars get more and more range every year. And those EVs that we're buying, the price is coming down at the same time. And a big part of that reason is because battery prices are coming down and getting better. So I actually think, I think Tesla have a good point here. Do we even need solar state batteries? I don't think we need them. That'd be nice, but we don't have to have them. Lithium iron and lithium iron phosphate, those cells have really proven their worth in terms of energy density and capability. And I think we're only in the beginning of that, said Lars Moravi, Vice President of Vehicle Engineering at Tesla, in an interview on Saturday at X Takeover, an event for Tesla uh, fans, essentially. Lithium iron phosphate are currently the cheapest form of batteries in the world. Sodium iron will probably replace lithium iron phosphate batteries pretty soon. Um, in terms of being energy storage, used for energy storage because sodium iron, while having lower energy density, they um, have some advantages, and that is one of them is cost. The cost of sodium is incredibly low. So that will happen, right? The low end of the market probably be sodium iron in a few years' time, and those EVs will be very, very cheap. They'll be cheaper than an internal combustion equivalent vehicle. But Lars said, I still think there's a lot of gains to be made in microchemistry and in those form factors. And I agree with Lars. You know, we have to give Tesla some credit here. Tesla got it right. Tesla were the first mainstream company in the world to use lithium ion phosphate batteries in their cars. And they didn't just use them in their cars. I mean, literally, about 70% of all of Tesla's cars had lithium ion phosphate batteries years before legacy automakers decided, oh, that's a good idea. We'll do it as well. So I think Tesla's... Um, their predictions on what would happen with the battery market were pretty pretty accurate. And realistically, by, by adjusting batteries and by experimenting with them, companies are doing some interesting stuff. We've seen over the past six months, a number of car brands have said the charging speed of our new models, the battery charging speed has doubled or nearly doubled, going from say between 250 to around 300 kilowatt charging to approximately double that 500 to 600 kilowatt. And in some cases up to a thousand. But what shocked me was finding out that for most of those batteries, the batteries were exactly the same. Exactly the same. Just the companies re realized these batteries were capable of handling massive amounts of charging speed. And by making a few software adjustments, they're able to put in all that power into these batteries without actually damaging them, which is quite a shock to me. So that's one of the big changes we're seeing. We don't even necessarily need to make any form factor changes to those batteries to see the uh, charging speed drastically improve. And we're even seeing the not just the energy density change, but the efficiency of cars improve year after year after year based on software changes. So batteries don't necessarily have to be improved in and of themselves. It can be the software, it can be the cooling, it can be the amount of charge going into those batteries. There's many different factors happening. However, what we're also seeing is because of the increase in production of batteries, the price continues to fall, 
but at the same time, the energy density is actually going up. If you look at all the new lithium ion phosphate batteries now being used by most manufacturers today, they have increased. BYDs haven't yet, but they will soon. The new Tang and the Han have an energy density of about 175 watt hours per kilogram, but the new BYD battery is meant to have 192. That hasn't arrived yet, but I'm sure it will soon. But manufacturers like Geely with their Aegis short blade battery, um, the, the batteries Xpeng are using, I believe 185 watt hours per kilogram, per kilogram in terms of energy density. And many others like Cadle, their new LFP batteries are sitting around 200 watt hours per kilogram. Up, now all these are up from about 150 watt hours only a few years ago. So we're seeing continued energy density increases. Lucid Motors recently revealed their gravity battery, their gravity EV, and it uses Panasonic 2170 cells that add 200 miles of range in just 10.9 minutes, which is a new record for the United States. China's probably laughing at that, but anyway, you can see here that actually even batteries in the United States are getting better. So the question is, while solid state batteries are gonna be great, uh, the first generation versions don't seem all that awesome. The energy density is good, but not amazing. And the truth is they're gonna be quite expensive. So the question arises, by the time solar state batteries actually hit the market in a meaningful way, how good will today's existing batteries actually be? Moravi said he expects the trend in improvements in batteries to continue. He estimates there have been roughly 3% gains annually in energy density and charging speed. That's a pretty good analysis, I think. For proof, Look at Tesla's own specifications. The top of the line Model S sedan in 2012 could do 265 miles of range on a single charge. Today, well, the top of the line gets more than 155, more than 150 miles more range. So they are unquestionably getting better. Tesla swaps various battery facilities over to an improved cell design team every couple of years, said Moravi adding that it recently moved to new cells from two of its suppliers, Cadle and LG. Now, Tesla didn't tell us this, right? They're using new batteries from Cadle and LG, but they went and did it. He said those feature a host of incremental improvements to their electrolytes, electrodes, manufacturing processes, and packaging. So Tesla does this very quietly, and I've reported on these changes on the channel, and then it, people have said it's not true, but actually Tesla's confirmed it is. He said this, I think that's going to continue for a long time and we're going to find a lot more improvements in the batteries that we make in our vehicles. Tesla sources cells from LG, Panasonic, Cadle, also BYD. And in addition, it also manufactures its own batteries in-house, the 4680 battery. Now Tesla said this, yeah, it's true that solid state batteries will come. That doesn't mean we don't also look at trends like solid state batteries and supercapacitors and other things that might provide other alternatives of energy. So whilst it's true that companies like Mercedes-Benz are currently testing solar state batteries in their EVs, so is Cherry, so are some other companies as well, I believe Hyundai is too, um, it kind of looks like Tesla's doing nothing, but it, that's not actually the case. Now getting back to the original point of the story, today's batteries are continuing to get better, but not only are they getting better and charging faster every year, and energy density improving every year. The cost is also going down every year. 